When we come back, on our show will be Pastor Don Piper, the author of uh, the tr A True Story of Life and Death, 90 Minutes in Heaven. Pastor Don Piper, and when we come back. Now, we are here today with an amazing story about a preacher who died and spent 90 minutes in heaven and came back to life. We'd like to welcome Mr. Don Piper back to our, to our show today. Uh, first of all, we'd like to talk about the car accident. And from the looks of the scars on your face, it was really, it was a pretty bad accident. Well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for welcoming me, having me back on your show. It's an honor to be here. Yes, the accident was horrendous. Um, I'll first start off by saying that I was uh, coming back from a Baptist convention in Texas. And um, I was trying to decide whether to go down I-45 or um, Highway 59. Um, the Highway 45 is a little bit more scenic and um, you know, has a bridge, so I thought I'd take that one. And around 11.30 a.m. on a Saturday morning, um, I would track the trailer as I was crossing over a bridge, um, veered over the center line, and um, hit me head on. It pinned me against a guard well, and upon impact, I was pronounced dead. Um, my left arm was dislocated, my right arm um, broken in multiple pieces. Um, my uh, right leg was just co almost completely lost. Um, as I mentioned, I was pretty much dead on, on impact. My, uh, the glass from the, the, the window itself pretty much shredded my face um, into you know holes and, and so forth, so hence the scars that you see. Oh my goodness. And so, Mr. Piper, you said that you actually experienced heaven. Can you give us a little bit more details about that? Absolutely. The, uh, my experience was just miraculous. It was um, just like the Bible says, um, there was, out, out, in, upon impact, I instantly appeared at heaven's gate. I was greeted by family and friends, and um, just different people had influenced my life uh, spiritually over the years. Um, they greeted me. They were perfect in every way. There was no blemishes on them whatsoever, and including myself, there were no blemishes. Um, here on earth, I was uh, scarred up and mangled, but as I looked down at my, my hands, um, there were no blemishes. There was just completely happiness, a whole lot going on in heaven. The music, the, uh, the, the lights, um, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. And, and you said that as far as imagining heaven, um, were there like, Give me some reasons why you think you, you imagine heaven. I mean, yeah. Well, a lot of people think that, you know, yes, yeah, since I am heavily involved in church and, and that I've read the Bible, that what I experienced was all in my, my mind or my imagination. And I will tell you that there's two reasons why I, I firmly believe that I was definitely there. One is that the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Two, the music. The music in heaven is not, nothing else you've ever heard before. It was not only the, the quality of the music, but it was the quantity of the music, all working together in just one great harmony, um, just, just, just perfection in, in every sense of the way. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So I can believe that you probably experienced the music. So what, what as far as the accident itself, what, how did you wake up? Yeah, that's, that's an interesting story as well. Um, as you can imagine, um, as a, the accident occurred on the, uh, on the highway over a bridge, so the, the traffic was backed up in, in both directions. There happened to be uh, two pastors, uh, husband and wife. Um, Pastor Dick and his wife were coming, coming, um, was stuck in the, in the traffic themselves. They got out to try to take a look at, to see what mm -hmm. happened. Um, they asked the uh, paramedics if it was okay to pray for me. You know, my, they had covered my body in the tarp, so uh, he put his hands on me and began to pray. Um, he prayed, and after he finished praying, he began to sing, Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. And after a few minutes of singing that song, um, I, I joined him joined right in and started singing with him. Oh, my. And he left that tarp within five seconds flat, um, <laughs> as you can imagine. But uh, it, it was a, a glorious uh, experience for both he and I. Oh, my goodness. And that's a true, true miracle. And it's not just, it's more just about surviving a car crash. What, what kind of challenges did you face while you were in the hospital? Oh, wow. That was, um, as you can imagine, the physical challenges were, were tremendous. Mm -hmm. um, I was in the hospital for 105 days. Um, like I mentioned, my right leg was pretty much lost. Um, they were telling me that I would never walk again, and here I am walking again. Um, beyond the physical, however, uh, the, the emotional, um, how people viewed me was very, very um, 
surprising because I, I hadn't had a chance to look at myself in the mirror. But when people saw me, um, they just had the expression of that I was hideous. And uh, to give you an example of that, the first time my own mother saw me, she, she fainted. Um, she literally fainted when she, she saw how torn and uh, mangled my body and my face and everything was. Oh, oh my goodness. But, but you're okay, Ryan. Yes, it's a miracle within itself that I'm sitting here before you. Okay, so as far as the experience, how, how has it, uh, give me an example of how you think it's, it, it made you feel. Okay. As far as humbled. Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, it's a very humbling experience. Um, of course, um, it lets me realize that we can all die any second. And um, it just me, give me an opportunity to experience that. Also lets me share my experiences with others and brings others closer to, to Christ. Because that is the answer, that is the key to heaven. And I am a, a living representative of that. Oh my goodness. Very thankful and, and was happy to hear this wonderful story of how Mr. Pastor, I'm sorry, Pastor Don Piper spent 90 minutes in heaven and came back alive. Thank you again, Mr. Piper, for coming to our show. Thank you very much. Thanks mm -hmm. so much. Thank you. What a friend we have. We have in Jesus. Oh, I